Hey y'all, good morning. Good morning, this is Marcel Hall on YouTube. And uh, today I got two stories to tell you guys, all right? So the first story is yesterday about 718 uh, incident while I was coming over here to Stockton. And the other part was I was helping a lady out at Richmond Station. So we are gonna go start off with the uh, the first story so <clears throat> yesterday after i was coming off at 7 13 i was starting to do my rail fanning at richmond station and uh so i walked down the station there's this woman this lady sitting on the bench you know she sort of stopped me and she wants to use my cell phone because she was scared of crying because she got off at I believe at Richmond, she was coming from Union City because she was taking a lift or Uber from her friend house from Union City. As soon as she got to Jet London Square, she missed 716 to go back to stop. I mean, to go back to uh, Fresno. And uh, soon, soon as she got to Richmond Station, she missed 716 again. So she missed 716. She was a little bit scared. She was crying because she don't like Richmond Amtrak station because there's no indoor station to protect her, you know? And after I got off at 713, San Joaquin Beltre coming from Stockton to Richmond, as soon as I'm about to, you know, start my rail fanning at Richmond station, she pulled me to the side. I decided to help her, you know, and uh, she was using my cell phone to call contact her friend in Fresno. She was scared to death of crying about Richmond, you know. And yeah, and I let her use my cell phone. I kept an eye on her, make sure that, you know, one of those fake people don't, you know, steal your phones everywhere. You know, how people like to ask you, hey, can I borrow your phone? This is an emergency. Well, this is for her for emergency, you know. I usually don't let nobody use my cell phone unless it's your cell phone is dead or do you have an emergency? You know, you need to, you know, call somebody to pick you up from somewhere. That's the only thing I'd let somebody use my phone for. Only for emergency is your phone is dead, okay? So anyways, continuing on the story. So I helped her out, you know, she was busy talking to her friend from Stockton, not Stockton, for, for Fresno. She, she tried to go back to Fresno, her hometown. She wants a friend of Bay Area, so. Cause you know how Richmond is. There's no indoor station. There's a lot of crazy people over there. There is a drug dealer going on. There is like a few people coming from the bar station acting a fool and stuff, you know? And that's pretty much I know about that story. So anyways, uh, and I helped her out. She, you know, I did a little blessing for her. I told her that you should get on 543 to Oakland Jet London Square and get your ticket refunded and get the uh, 718 ticket so i told her that i'll be on 718 coming back here and soon we got on 718 for jet london square as the train was going so smoothly this is the second story coming up soon the train got so smoothly so i was just like you know riding on the train trying to get back to stockton so we left oakland jet london square around 5 36 as soon we get to richmond and outside of perno the train just completely had emergency stop. Then all of a sudden we just sit there waiting because there was a trespasser walking in front of my train and got ran over, got hit. It was just a disaster for Amtrak 718 yesterday. So anyway, we sit there for like at least two hours and all of a sudden we saw some police coming over the fence, coming towards my train. Then we saw fire trucks, ambulances, and sheriffs all in the scene so we had to sit there at least two hours and uh, they had to get somebody from under the train and stuff so it was a disaster for me i was coming back here to back to my auntie's house and it was just late you know it was getting late you know i would have been at i would have been at stopped at like around 7 15 7 30. it turns out that we had to sit here for two hours because there was a scene on the railroad track in front of my train so my train had to sit here for two hours and uh we had fire trucks we had paramedics they had to go under the train to pull out the body of somebody who got ran over it was just disaster you know and folks out there this is why you don't ever never ever walk on railroad tracks because of, because of that last night scene you know 
it just you know don't walk on railroad track some people think it's funny to do that you know it's not funny it's not cool to walk on railroad tracks i guarantee it you know that's why they put up all the sides around the railroad track they put it up higher fences they're gonna start amtrak gonna be like bart put it up barbed wire fences prevent people from walking on train tracks you know and you guys know train tracks are private property you know for my advice out there you guys don't walk on railroad tracks okay and uh don't and uh don't have headphones like you know jbl or i airpod pros or something in your ears you, you know if you're walking down a railroad track you never know a train might creep on you you know you can't hear because you got your music blasting up loud and uh some of you guys like to ignore the crossing you know especially in the quiet zone you know i understand the quiet zones are painful but you gotta at least take your headphones off and be alert when you come to the railroad tracks okay be alert all right as the story goes on, I had to sit there outside of Pono for two hours. We had to wait for another crew to change. Five Amtrak, six Amtrak trains have to go past my train to get to their destination. That is crazy right now. You know, it was service destruction. Somebody had to go run in front of my train and pff, got ran over. I'm trying to make it home. I, at least I did contact my auntie and tell her, hey, auntie. My, my train just hit a trespasser, okay? So I'm gonna be out there a while trying to get back here, you know? And that's, I would about to say, it's just a disaster for yesterday, man. Everybody else was going towards Los Angeles, some other stuff, you know? They had to be up there at least like about on time. So they end up, people going to Bakersfield by three o'clock in the morning last night. Some people that friends look like around one something in the morning. Wow. And people going towards Modesto, Twila Denar, Denair, around 11 and 12 a.m. in the morning. That is crazy. Nobody don't want to come home this late at night. Okay? Especially people got destiny to get to on time. And especially there's a killer out here somewhere, a serial killer. Nobody don't want to come home late. Okay? So people out there don't walk on railroad track if you walk on railroad track if you get killed it's gonna cause a delay okay and you're gonna cause delay of other folks's destination okay so anyways my advice is please do not walk on railroad tracks obey the signs do not ignore the railroad crossing okay and plus if you're near a park right, right by the railroad track do not go on the private property or the railroad tracks, okay? It's not, it ain't no joke, okay? It's definitely not no joke. So, anyways, that's all I can say right now about my story yesterday. And uh, I was coming over here very, very, very late because of that scene on 718 San Joaquin to Bakersfield, you know? And uh, all the Capitol Corridor trains had to go past my train to go around that mess to get to their destination you know how hard it is to sit in a train for two hours hoping you guys want to go home hope you guys you know get get there on time and stuff okay one tip right now if you're running late make sure that a relative or a friend communicate them on the phone okay just tell her like hey i'm running late because my train hit a pedestrian or my train broke down it's gonna be a little bit longer Okay, make sure that you communicate, all right? Well, that's all for today, folks. I'm gonna just tell you my story that happened yesterday about Amtrak 718 and helping this woman out at Richmond Station because she was scared to death about the Bay Area, okay? Because she come from Fresno out of town to go see her friends. Then I read it to her at Richmond and that's about it. So, all right. I'm Marcel. Thank you for watching this, uh, this my YouTube channel. And uh, please subscribe, hit that like button, everything, okay? So I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.